this was uh, 12, 15, 12 or 13 years ago, 1999, uh, a good friend of mine called Jackie Elton, who is actually British, uh, I had met Jackie in India, where my husband and I lived and worked. She had come some 10, 15 years prior to that uh, as a student volunteer. Uh, and uh, uh, we had kept in touch over the years. Uh, and in 1999, I was retiring from my job with the United Church. Mm -hmm. And Jackie said, I've got a job for you. And she had always had an interest in helping children born with a cleft lip or palate, as she had been born with a cleft lip herself. And I said, OK, Jackie, I've got uh, my background is finance and uh, putting projects in place. I said, uh, and she wanted it to be in Canada. She, she was very busy, although she came from the UK, she was extremely busy there. And uh, I wasn't about going to England to work with her there, so she said, do it in Canada. Keith was involved to a certain extent, but not on the initial board. Mm -hmm. So we sat around and planned it. And part of my background had been international work. I had worked with the, the United Church in India for 25 years. And I had also been involved with a microfinance organization called Oiko Credit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as a result of being on the international board of Oiko Credit, I had visited many developing countries. Uh, Oiko Credit is a microfinance, just a little background there. Um, they give loans to poorer people throughout the world, and we have offices throughout the world. So because of all these contacts, uh, this is another reason Jackie came to came to and asked me to start this. It wasn't just because of my accounting and, and legal skills. So uh, we, we worked out a plan, a bit of a strategy. Mm -hmm. We would do pilot projects in two places in India, uh, go to two organizations that I knew exceptionally well. I'd worked with the people, I'd helped with their accounts. Um, I knew the, the situation of many of the, their, their medical, the, they were both medical projects. And I realized that um, many of these kids had cleft lips and palate, but there was nobody there to help them. Mm -hmm. So we went to Pune, uh, Pune as it's called, in India, and then another smaller city. Uh, and Jackie and I went November of 2000, uh, 1999, rather. Uh, we visited these projects. They said they would set up um, with the local surgeons. And uh, uh, things started, we started with a few children in one place and a few in one city, and a second number of children uh, in this rural area of, uh, of Western India.